Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from executeautomation.com and welcome to Selenium Tidbits. And in this Tidbits, we are going to discuss about Selenium 3.0 and Mozilla Geeko driver, which is otherwise called as Marionette for 47.0.1 version of Firefox and above. So this is something which is released along with Selenium 3.0 beta versions like beta 1 and right now from the Firefox 47.0.1 and above the only engine which is supported is going to be the Marionette driver. So Marionette is the next generation of Firefox driver. So if you're going to use the Firefox driver which we were using before something like web driver driver is equal to new Firefox driver it is not going to work right now so it will be worked only if you specify Geeko driver along with it system.set properties to specify the drivers exe so right now this is the only workaround which is available but since it is an ongoing development project it's going to be super cool soon all right so let's get started Marionette Marionette is an automation driver for Mozilla Geeko engine. It can remotely control either the UI or the internal JavaScript of a Geeko platform such as Firefox. So it can control both Chrome, that is the menus and functions, or the content, which is nothing but the web page loaded inside the browsing contest, given a high level of control and the ability to replica user rep in addition to performing actions on the browser, Marinette can also read the properties and attributes of the DOM. So that's the beauty of the Marinette all about. It is really really awesome because it is going to really perform the same kind of operation what a Selenium does. And we are not really going to dig very deep into Marinette. So if you want to learn Marinette, how it works and when to use this Marinette, you can always go to this website to understand how things work. So you can go to the developer.mozilla.org Mozilla QA Marinette. So this is the path where you can go and you can learn how a Marinette is being developed. And how to set up Marinette? It is very very straightforward. All you have to do is if you have already worked with the Chrome driver you would just use the system.set property to specify the driver name and the path of the driver.exe. That's exactly what we're going to do here as well. We are going to specify the webdriver.firefox.marinet and then if you specify the Geeko driver path that's it you're all good to go to open the Firefox driver right now and we have already discussed about that in our Selenium tidbits something like here working with different browsers using Selenium web driver in this tidbits we have already discussed how to open different kinds of browser and we can do exactly the same thing in this particular video series as well so I will show you a very quick change what has been done so far so since it's an ongoing development project you can actually see the status of the web driver, where it stands, what are the different kinds of bugs which you will encounter while you work with and what are the different great features which is being developed alongside. You can learn from here in this particular URL. So let's see this in action and understand how things work. So for that I'm going to flip to IntelliJ. So this is one of the projects which we are working in Cucumber with Selenium video series of the Execute Automation channel. And what I'm going to do this time is I'm just going to show you two things. One is the Selenium 3.0 and above. You can see that right now I have added the dependency for 3.0.1 Selenium dependency right here in my pom.xml file. And I am going to open the Firefox driver and then I'm going to navigate to our exit automation website and see if it opens. So the version of Firefox I have is surely greater than 47.0.1 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the hook.java which I have already created in our cucumber with selenium video series and I'm just going to steal some of the code out from there all I'm going to do is I'm just going to open the web driver which is nothing but the Firefox driver something like this and then I'm going to navigate to our exit automation website so navigate dot to URL of HTTP colon double slash www.executeautomation.com there we go and now if I try to run this particular code you will see that the test will fail there we go and if you see what is the failure actually happening it will say that java.lang.illegal state exception and the error is pretty straightforward it says the path to the driver executable must be set to a webdriver.geeko.driver 
and for the system property for more information read from this particular github url and you can see that this particular github url is actually pointing to one of the driver page which we are looking for so you can download the drivers from here so i'm gonna go and navigate to that particular page you can see that this is the same page which i have already opened so this is about the geeko driver and this is the support for the firefox in and what are the different kinds of stuff that you can do from here right so you can actually see the different kinds of releases which is available for you to download from here you can go to this particular website i guess it's releases so i'm just gonna paste it right here and you can see that the latest version for now when i'm recording this video is this 0 0.11.1 so you can download this particular version and see how things work so I have already downloaded the latest version of this particular Geeko driver in my machine under this lips folder, right? So I'm going to specify this particular path into my system.property and see how things work. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy the path and I'm going to go over here. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a system.setProperty and then I'm going to say webdriver.firefox.com marionette and then i'm going to paste the path of my driver over here i'm just going to run this and see how things work so this is the only change which i'm going to do right here right i'm just going to save it and right now if i try to run this particular test you should see that the firefox should open this time and also it should navigate to our exit automation website There we go it opened the browser and it's navigating to our exitautomation.com slash blog there we go that's that's what is expected so i'm just going to close because our test is going to run the same test again and again so i'm just going to stop it so this is how you can see that our geeko driver which is recently added in selenium 3.0 and above is going to completely work only with the latest version of firefox browsers so you can see that the version of Firefox I got is actually 49.01 I guess. So that's it guys. Once again, thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.